Hey pretties, thanks so much for clicking this video. Today we have a really pretty purple smoky eye with glitter. I wanna go ahead and tell y'all to go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can continue to see more of my tutorials. Also, thumbs up this video if you like it. Otherwise, let's cut the chat and let's get right into the tutorial. All right, so I'm gonna start in with my Morphe palette. I'm not sure which one this is. As you can see, it's the one with mostly violets. As always, I'll have everything in the description. I'm gonna mix those two colors and I'm going to go in with this brush and I'm gonna show you what brush it is in the next clip. But basically, I'm just going in with that color as my transition shade. And it's really important to blend this out. I really want this look to look very seamless and blended and uh, just a transition of color. Now I'm taking MAC Rice Paper and I'm just going to go ahead and use that as my under eyebrow highlight. And I'm also using a Morphe brush with that as well. I'll have the brushes down below too. Now I'm going in with the Zulu palette by Juvia's Place and I'm going to use this purple. I'm not sure what the name is for it. It looks like this new palette doesn't have names for the shadows, so it's just the purple one. It's only one purple. But I'm gonna go in and go ahead and deepen my transition and my outer V with this purple. I did notice that this color was a little hard to blend, just a heads up. And with this brush, I'm just going and I'm taking, I believe I was using a darker violet color for some reason it didn't show up on camera, but that was just to deepen that purple a little further. And now I'm just taking a fluffy brush and I'm blending everything together. Again, I want something very seamless. Now I'm going to take this lighter, uh, like a lily color, violet color, really, really light, but pretty shimmers. And I'm going to go ahead and pat that on the clean area of my lid that's left thus far. And I'm doing it in a circular motion. This is best for my eye shape, depending on your eye shape, will depend on how you place it. Now I'm just going in and blending again. The key to getting your eye look to look so smooth and so creamy, y'all, is really blending. So take your time. Now I wanted to amp this up a little bit, add a little more shebang. So I'm gonna take the NYX glitter glue and I'm just gonna place that all over my lid. Go very slow for this because I like a really nice thin glitter application. I'm taking glitter from Coastal Scents and it's this pretty purple shimmery glitter. It is so pretty and it really makes the eye pop and I'm just building it up to the level of intensity that I want. Keeping everything kind of under that transition line so it looks like we have a slight cut crease going on. It just keeps the eye looking very clean. Taking my favorite liner, Shawing, and I'm gonna go ahead and do my liner. I did a very dramatic liner. It was really different for me, y'all. It was very thick on the ends and everything, and I was a little skeptical about it, but I'm happy that I just went ahead and kept going with it because I really, really, really like it. And I literally just looked at my computer, and I have 9%, y'all. Let's hope I make it through this tutorial, okay? This voiceover. Now I'm gonna take my lashes, my eBay lashes, and here what I'm doing is I actually put two together, and now I'm just taking some liner and I'm just gonna blur the line a little bit just so they look more natural. Now the face portion, I'm gonna go ahead and speed through. I have many, many, many tutorials where I am doing my face and putting on my foundation and everything, so I really wanted to speed through, through, through this to get this, ugh, words to get through this tutorial really fast i wanted to just go ahead and speed through it so i'm basically just taking my foundation and some type of glow product y'all know i'm using some type of glow and i'm blending this all over my face and into my hairline everything like that the only thing i did different was you'll see in the next clip is how i place my highlight and my contour i'm using the same highlighter as always lancome 415 bisque but I'm actually putting on my contour and I'm using a cream contour. Usually I just go in with powder, but I wanted to see how this would all work if I just do it all at the same time. I had to use the Lancome stick, then I went in with the Makeup Forever um, foundation stick as well because it wasn't pulling 
red enough for me. You know, I'll, I like my contour to look a little red. And now I'm just going down the bridge of my nose as well. And then after that, I'm pretty much just going to blend everything together. And I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking now and I'll just let y'all watch, all right? All right, now we got to my favorite part, which is setting. I'm using Sasha's Buttercup and I'm using a Real Technique Beauty Blender sponge to just go ahead and place this powder every place that I put my um, concealer initially. What I like to do is I like to dab one layer in just to really sit down. And then I like to put a layer on top of that and that's the layer that I'm going to brush off in the next clip. Another key to highlighting and always getting your highlight absolutely correct is just going one to two shades lighter. Um, I know that may seem like a very simple thing to some people, but often, you know, working at the makeup counter is a question I get asked a lot is how you determine it's always one to two shades lighter than your complexion. And now that that's in it, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I'm gonna finish off these eyes. Of course, I'm going in with some black eyeliner. I just cannot do a look without black eyeliner of some sort. I've tried white, but it just it's, it's, it isn't the same for me. Like it has to be, it has to be black or it's it's, it's whack. It's just not gonna work. But I'm gonna go ahead and do my waterline with this black eyeliner, and I'm doing it kind of thick, so I'm going underneath my waterline onto like the eyeshadow line. Now I'm going to take this Morphe brush, the M508, my blind self. I can barely even see. I'm really gonna have to zoom the shit out of these brushes to see. But I'm using the Zulu palettes purple and I'm going to go underneath that black just to add like the most subtle smokiness with that black. It looks really 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 good I tried to bring the camera in so that y'all can see it a little more hopefully you can you can see that purple mixing with that black it looks very good and it just add a lot of definition to the eye now I'm gonna go ahead and dust all of that Sasha buttercup off of my face and as you can see it still leaves behind a nice highlight without being too bold and over um, dramatic over domineering of my whole face now I'm gonna go in and use my bronzer. If y'all know of a good contour powder, contour, not bronzer, let me know. I'm looking for a contour powder because I'm tired of using this bronzer. I'm I think y'all tired of seeing it too, but um, it's the only thing that's really working for me right now. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with, with my nose, do a little contouring on my nose as well. Yes, and I really want this contour to stick out today. So I'm really, as you can see, I'm going in with it again and again and again. Now I'm going to use my favorite highlighter for my favorite line, which is AY Beauty. This is Aura. And this, as you can see, I'm going to turn slightly. It leaves a little lavender um, purple look and I think that is so beautiful I'm here for the unicorn magic I go in with a little bit of the Mariah Carey on top that is limited edition for the people who keep asking me about it I don't think it can be bought at Mac anymore 
Now as for the lip, first I'm going to start with the ColourPop liner and I believe I'm using Notion and I'm just going to go ahead and outline my lips. Now the lips I honestly did not like. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all the first attempt of what I did, which I used a gloss. It is by NYX and it should be coming up right here in this clip. It's the Intense Butter Gloss and I went ahead and I put that on. Now, I just didn't feel like this was the look, like this was the lip at all. I tried to get into it, tried to really, you know, play around with it, but I was like, you know, ultimately, nah. So I went ahead with NYX. Um, I'm using Transylvania Soft Matte Lip Cream, and this is the lip that I really, really like. The only thing with this is I notice I have to really build this up. So I have to do like one layer, let it dry, then a second layer, third. I end up doing four layers to get it to the intensity that I wanted it to get to, which when I thought about it, I really could have used a lip liner, but whatever. This is pretty much just going to end out the tutorial and what we are doing here. I'm just, as you can see, just going over that lip a few times. But when that's all said and done, this is the final look. I really hope that y'all enjoyed this tutorial. If so, do not forget to subscribe. Also, thumbs up this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to stay pretty, y'all, and I'll see you on the next one.